Going abroad is going to change your life. When I was in university, I remember getting the option to be able to study abroad. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, this is a really cool experience. I get to go somewhere for six months and study somewhere new. That might be really fun. And when I was taking the decision of, okay, do I go to Spain? Do I go to England? Do I go to Australia? There were so many different programs that my university had offered. I went to Susquehanna University. And a really cool thing that this university offered was that I basically forced every student to go abroad. Whether it be for two weeks, four weeks, a month, two months, whatever it was, they focused on everyone had to have some cultural experience. I remember thinking, you know what, this is a really good selling point in this university. And it was something that I was really looking forward to when I became a junior. And when I got to pick, I basically had the option with being a business major, either to go to London, Chester, for like the specific business school that you wanted to go into. Or there were some things in Barcelona, there's some things in Australia. But me being a footy fan and loving soccer and wanting to actually like kind of immerse myself in the culture, I knew I wanted to pick England. And at the time, I knew that I didn't want to have the language barrier affect my experience. And me personally, I didn't want to go to some of these nicer countries for the party atmosphere like most people were. I wanted to make sure I went somewhere that was authentic. And it was a brand new program, and it was the Chester program. And it was the first year that they were doing it for the school I went to. And I was like, you know what? Let me be the pioneer. Let me do something new. So I went through it. Dean Rose at the Susquehanna Business School was there. He basically helped us kind of guide us into doing it. I went with two different friends that were also on the soccer team who met together. And it was just an awesome little intro experience where it's like, wait a minute, like we really have to do this, guys. And come January 2019, we embark on this journey to go study in Chester, England. And to this day, I'll always look back on that time I left and say, that was the moment my life changed for the better. In getting there, we had to learn so many different things so fast. But being sociable people, we were easily meeting new people, talking, allowing ourselves to see who's in the hallway learning their names, being, hey, what to do? Knowing that, okay, this is the kitchen we're going to have to make all our meals. And it's like this exciting, enticing experience where, oh my gosh, I'm by myself. Like, we're doing this alone. We're going to have to embark on this journey. I remember that night, we all went out together just to kind of see some restaurants, see some things around us and kind of walk around a little bit and, you know, lay the land, see what the vibes are like. And we met a couple of people and there was a guy named Zach who kind of took us out and was kind of showing us around and showing us where we can get breakfast and different things. And it was really awesome to meet a couple of people who went to school there as well and were more local than we were. So that was a really a good experience. And in doing so, allowed us to get into this abroad journey. Some things that people might not tell you about going abroad is that you really find out who your real friends are. So for example, when I went abroad, I realized that how many people stopped basically reaching out to me and contacting me because I wasn't around them in their vicinity. And I had one friend whose name is Andy. And again, you guys might know him as Andy the Chef. And he was one of the only people that consistently called me. And our relationship grew and our friendship grew because he's one of the only people that really was reaching out to me, calling me, making sure I was good, making sure things were, things were happening. He wanted to know about it. And these moments kind of show you who your real friends are. So I would recommend going abroad, obviously for the experience, but knowing this and telling you guys that when you do go abroad, you're going to find out who your real day ones are, your real best friends. And it was awesome because it kind of showed me like, wow, so many people are basically disposable. They don't really care enough to reach out or even call you or ask you how you're doing. And that was one of the most breath of fresh air things I realized. And then I was like, when I come back to the States, I know where to focus my energy and time into. The people who focus their energy and time into me when I can't do anything for them in the moment. Another amazing thing about studying abroad is, of course, the cultural experience. When I was in England, the amount of footy I played was immense. And I played soccer with the University of Chester's team. I remember playing with UDA Academy. It was an academy team that basically had Americans playing there. And I remember asking the coach, I'm like, hey, it's cool if I just practice with you guys. And again, going out of my way to like, you know, be social and be like, hey, like, can I just practice with you guys? And he was a Wolverhampton scout and the assistant coach was like a Man City assistant youth coach. And the level of technical ability that I learned in that little four month span of like playing with them was immense. It was incredible and leveled up my ability in the game so much because I was learning from people who were really showing me how to play. In America, they really do focus on athleticism a lot more than do the actual technical ability and the tactics of the game. So when I was there, it leveled up my game to another level. And it was one of the most amazing experiences I had. And again, when you go abroad, immerse yourself in the culture, wherever that may be, really do that. And it's something that I would highly recommend to anyone who's considering going abroad. Another thing that going abroad really might help is, again, like language, right? You want to learn a new language? Go abroad. Live in that country for a little bit. And I know my sister, she studied abroad in Spain and learned a lot of Spanish because she was forced to speak Spanish all the time. So it's cool when you see people who go to different countries and learn the language. Because you're hearing it all the time. You're exposed to it. And it allows you to actually learn and grow. And even for me, when I was in England, I was learning all the English slang. And it was so awesome. I even came back and I was like, yeah, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. I'm like, oh, man, the UK has gotten to me. And it was awesome. And I enjoyed it. And then 
even when I was there, the amount of diversity within that city was awesome too, where I'm talking to people from Mozambique, I'm talking to people from Argentina, Brazil. I'm talking to a bunch of Americans who also are studying abroad in that area from Utah, Georgia. And it was so cool to diff- kind of see different cultures all meshed in together at John Milton Hall. And it was just awesome to see that. And I'll always look back on that experience and think, wow, that melting pot of diversity was huge for my cultural growth and learning more about different types of people and what they like doing. And when I went abroad, it was one of the most important aspects and catalysts to who I became in the future. It was the first time I really started journaling and writing down my feelings, thoughts, experiences, things I wanted to achieve in life. And a lot of that alone time and that solitude really evolved me as an individual. And I was really learning about myself and working on crafting what I wanted to do in life. It was actually one of the first ideas when I created the Oli Canola YouTube channel. When I was thinking about wanting to do a podcast, it was 2019 when I was doing all this. And it was all these thoughts in my head and then knowing hmm, my friend at school was an artist, these people do this, do this. What am I? What do I like doing? What are the things that make me, me? And I kept thinking and thinking and thinking. And at the meantime, again, talking to Andy all the time on the phone, because he was one of those close friends. Again, like I said, that was talking to me all the time, making sure I was straight. He, when I were talking and he was saying things like, dude, like thinking is a skill, just like everything else. Like the people forget that thinking is one of the most important skills to learn. And in doing so, I was thinking all the time how to become better, how to really improve and be the best version of myself. And this just taught me so much independence and being able to do things on my own. I was cooking on my own. I was learning on my own. I was going out of my way to learn things. And when I was in England, you basically have like one class a week per class. So it was a lot less school and study time. But it was more like emotional growth and personal development time, which I needed 100% of the time because I was noticing myself go down a bad path when I was in university and I wasn't being the best version of myself. So when I went abroad, it really changed the outlook of my life and it really changed my life genuinely. I was able to adapt and be malleable, learn so many different things when I was abroad. And again, spread my comfort zone out where I met so many different people. And I just want to give a good shout out to a woman named Candida and she was incredible. She was one of our, basically our advisor and she was one of the most amazing women I met there. And she was so strong and powerful and she was Basically, like, teaching us the game. She was getting us engaged in the the class she taught us. She was basically making sure that we were good. But she also had such deep conversations. And I was thinking in my head, wow, like, these deep conversations, this is incredible. I'm talking like different people that are so cultured. They've been through so much in life. And she would tell me some of her life story. And I'm like, wow, this is intense. And when you go out of your way, you're abroad, you're talking to different people, you really do learn a lot about yourself by learning about others. Even when it came down to your career and things about yourself, when I went abroad, I had to get an internship when I was there. And the internship I worked with was basically an entrepreneur that I found, and he had two businesses. And when I met him, he was basically talking to me about how he ran the two businesses he had. He had a beauty spa and he had an Indian restaurant. And again, being an Indian restaurant within a majority white area in Chester, it was so cool to learn like how he did it, how he built the business, what he did. Learning all the different things was amazing and gave me so much insight about business and knowledge and kind of allowed me to think about it in a different way as well. And that no matter where you are, you could succeed. You just put in the work and the grit and the time. It was one of the most emotionally impactful things that I ever went through in my life. And it really was where I created all of my ideas and most of my flow. And it got me going and thinking, what can I really achieve in this life? This world is so big. Everyone kind of goes through the same thing. I remember taking videos of myself and like talking to myself a lot during that time, thinking, this is who I am. I'm becoming myself. I'm kind of breaking out of this cocoon. And I'm about to start flying like that butterfly that I know I am on the inside. And in doing so, it allowed me that solitude time to grow and learn and be the best version of myself. And I'll always look back on that time and think how grateful I am to have been able to go study abroad. And if you're even on the fence or doubting, you're a parent watching, thinking, Hmm. like, is studying abroad good for my son or daughter? Trust me, it is. It is one of the most amazing experiences you can go through. And you will learn so much. You'll also get to travel. For example, when I was in Europe, traveling from place to place wasn't as expensive as you might think. When you're already in Europe, it's really easy to travel throughout Europe. And being able to see a bunch of new cultures, new things, just incredible. And I will always recommend it to anyone who's even thinking about it. All in all, I really do hope you take that step. If you're a little scared, do it. It's the best decision that I've made in my life, genuinely. And I'm so grateful that I was able to have the privilege to go abroad and study basically in another country. Thanks again for tuning in. I really want to know what you guys think. And hey, if you studied abroad, leave in the comments down below how studying abroad changed your life. Because I'm sure that other people have these stories as well because it happened to me. So I'm it's bound to have happened to other people. And if you're on the fence, let people know in the comments like why you might be on the fence and where you might be thinking about going. Again, please share to like, subscribe, share, and send this to everyone that you can. And again, I really appreciate supporting the channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.